So I have a very dear friend um, who's been challenged with some things uh, and physically in her body for some years now. <clears throat> and she has, you believe God, on every level. And it, instead of even moving and getting better, it appears and seems uh, as if it's getting worse. And um, I had a dream about her, not last night, but the night before last. And in the dream, uh, her hair had gotten longer, and uh, she asked me how it looked. She had just got it done, and I said, you're just shining. And, you know, I reported that to her, and it was encouraging. But this morning, the Lord just really started ministering to me that this was not just for her. This was for the body of Christ. Uh, it is a big message because a lot of you have been looking at circumstances and believing God for a lot of things, big things, uh, major, serious things, and instead of getting better, they just seem to be getting worse. And uh, he brought, the Lord brought to my mind this morning, and it's a great story, a true story, John G. Lake. And I've got his book of testimonies and various um, sermons he he has done. And in this book, I think it's in this book, um, he talks about, and it might not even be him now I'm thinking about it, but it's, this is a true testimony. He uh, is talking about this young lady who came up for prayer. And she had this huge goiter on her neck. I mean, him out the size you know, almost of a bowling ball. And she just believed and received her healing. And she, and she was a beautiful young lady, except for this goiter, I guess. And she was young, like a teenager, late teens. And she believed her healing. And so every Sunday, uh, she would get up and testify how the Lord has gloriously healed her. And, you know, time went on, time went on. And I'm talking about years. And nothing happened. And finally, after years and years of this, you know, the pastor, everybody's just shaking their head and going, poor thing, she's just in delusion, right? And, it, you know, they, she was giving her testimony yet again, you know, how God has gloriously healed her, and somebody said, you know, obviously he hasn't. And she just sweetly stood there and looked up to heaven and said, Lord, show them what I know you've done. And right before everybody's eyes, that tumor, that goit not tumor, the goiter disappeared. And uh, that's a powerful story because I think that's where we're at. Um, it's, a, and in the dream I had about my friend, her believing God against all odds, against everything of what it looks like and then all of us these many years who have been believing God against everything that looks just total, totally contrary is actually building up to a time and a place in space, time, space and place where God can manifest uh, what he has already done and I think that's where we're at uh, and I think it's a glorious Passover message that in the face of all the circumstances that look just the opposite, we are going to see manifestations of God. I, I love the word Tiffany. Uh, you know, I like Tiffany as a store, but when I found out what, the, and I like their perfume and the old perfume, not the new perfume. Anyway, the word Tiffany actually means manifestations of God. So I love that name. I didn't used to like that name, but it, it comes from Epiphany, manifestations of God. So I think this is where we're at. I think if you have held on against all odds, against everything else, number one, you're a shining example of to unbelievers and believers alike, and you will see the glory of God.